Happy Saturday, everyone. I wanted to put together a video uh, showing how I adjust my Begali keys. I think it's fairly important um, if you have multiple keys to have fairly consistent settings across the keys. In my case, I've got a, um, a Begali Sculpture Black. This this particular key, I keep in the key car with me all the time, and I use it on POTA activations. Um, I've got a, a Sculpture Janus, a Sculpture Magnum, and another uh, regular sculpture in stainless steel. And I came across some settings that I think work fairly well for me. And the nice thing about Begali keys is you can um, maintain some consistency uh, between keys. And um, I want to show that here. This particular key is with me all the time in the car. And uh, <clears throat> it was kind of a hard thing to kind of subject this key to, um, you know, constant mobile use because I love the key. But I did find a nice hard shell case that I keep the key in all the time when I'm not using it. This is a hermit shell case, and it's really intended for a Bluetooth speaker, but it works very well for the Begali sculpture. Um, the shape of the of the lid comes at just the right point where it holds the key in place and keeps it protective from any, uh, you know, usual rough handling. So I'll put a link to that in the description. So there's two basic adjustments uh, that I make. Uh, that's to the gap setting and the tension setting on the Begali. And the first thing I usually do is I, I clean the gap the gaps on the two uh, contact points back here. I use a, a piece of sticky note paper. Obviously, you don't want to use the adhesive side, um, but that's just just the paper I use. And basically, I just slide it into the contacts and then tighten down the contacts just enough to grab the paper, and then you can start sliding it out. Um, a lot of times you'll see some discoloration of the paper uh, where it's removing any dirt or um, tarnish. I guess tarnish doesn't happen with Begali keys because they are gold, but uh, the contacts do get dirty and it's important to keep them clean. I'll do the same with the other side. Just back off the contacts a little bit, bring the, tent the pressure down on the paper and slide it through. Once that's done, um, you want to set your gap. And the way I do that is I, I hook up the key so I can get a tone on it and take one paddle and hopefully you can hear that. Take one paddle and bring it in just to the point where it makes contact. So that's right there. And then I just put a marker on it and then I back that off one eighth of a turn. So that's my preference. Do the same for the other side. Oops, wrong way. Right there. So they're both an eighth of a, of a turn. Then the next thing I do is I adjust the uh, tension using a dial tension gauge. Uh, this is this is one I got off of, of Amazon, and it's it's good enough quality. I think it's it's very consistent across its readings, and I guess uh, the consistency is the importance, maybe not the accuracy. Um, but I found that my ideal setting is 25 grams. So basically, I just take the gauge, set it on the lid of the box, so it's hitting at about the right point on the paddle, and then measure the tension. And I like 25 grams. So that's right at 25. And that's right at 25. All right. 
the other thing I would mention is um, I noticed that uh, I was constantly having to adjust the the um, tension and this is a magnetic tension not a spring tension uh, so there's two opposing magnets inside there um, and I was constantly having to readjust my keys and I, I figured out that I was inadvertently turning this setting um, just frequently handling the key um, so I went to Westlake Ace Hardware and I picked up some tension springs. I don't know if you can see it in there. Uh, but I just I, I took the spring and, and clipped it to the right width for that and inserted that in both sides. And that provides just enough tension to, to, to make it less easy to turn these adjustments. So that might be one thing you want to do if your key is going outside the shack frequently. So there it is, uh, ready to go for another month or so before I adjust it again. Hope this helps. 7-3.